for our shower this morning is the reward of faithful service. The reward of faithful service. And our focus is the promise of eternal reward. For those who faithfully support God's mission. Colossians chapter 3 verse 23 to 24 is our first scripture for today. It says, And whatsoever ye do, do it heartedly, as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Matthew 22 verse 21 His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, and will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Now, faithful service to God's mission is never in vain. The Bible consistently teaches that God rewards those who diligently serve Him. Paul encourages believers to walk wholeheartedly, knowing that their true reward comes from the Lord. You see, if you are looking up unto a man to reward you for your faithful service, you will look and wait in him. There is no man on that earth, not even me. For instance, expecting me to appreciate you, yes, it is human to appreciate, but there is no appreciation I can give that can be equal to what Jesus can give you. So, if we hope in what we see here on earth, not considering eternal reward, everlasting reward that Jesus gives to those who faithfully serve him. If we don't look for that and our expectation is this here on earth, I give for the kingdom expecting that I should buy a Rolls Royce and I couldn't buy, that means God has failed me. The Bible said, you are among all men most miserable. May you not be miserable in Jesus' name. Matthew 22, 25 verse 21 presents a powerful image of the final reward that await those who have served faithfully. He said, well done. You know what it means for Jesus to tell you well done? Well done could be that you are exempted from some incurable disease. Well done could mean that you live long above and beyond your widest imagination or expectation. Well done could be safety for your family. Well done could be divine preservation. Well done. I wish to receive that well done from Jesus. And that is why I'm committed. Despite the insult, I know people insult, but those insults are fading out. Most especially those that I did business with in the past that didn't go well with them, that were insulting at the beginning. It's fair enough, because I've refused to go back. The devil wanted to use those things to push me back to my former life. But thank God that he held me, not to give me. And many of you who do that, you don't know the damage you cause to the body of Christ. When you see somebody making effort to live a good life, encourage the person, than flashing the person with his past. If Jesus consider your own past, will you stand? So, what is God telling us today? He said, serve Jesus faithfully. Don't look at a reward for man. Eternal reward is our expectation. Our true life story today is a story of a man that we all know. One of my very favorite stories, George Muller. See, Josh Muller is known for his incredible faith and faithful service to God. In the 18th century, he catered for over 10,000 orphans in England. We know the story of Josh Muller. 
please become very used to the story of George Muller because it is one of my favorite stories and I'll keep sharing it. Without ever making financial requests to people, he trusted solemnly in God's provision, praying daily for the need of the orphanage. Through his faithful service, God supplied every need in a miraculous way. Mullah's work was supported by faithful believers who gave generously, often without any recognition. Many of them will never meet the children they helped or see the fruit of their giving during their lifetime. But their faithful partnership with Mullah Ministry was part of God's mission. Today, Mullah's legacy continues and the eternal reward for those who faithfully supported his work will be made known in heaven, where every unseen act of kindness and support will be fully rewarded by the Lord. Praise Jesus. So we need to do a powerful reflection on this message today. God is possible. Many don't even believe there is heaven, so how do you expect eternal reward? But I believe there is heaven. I'm sure you believe it, there is heaven. And God rewards. He does. Some people receive that reward here, yeah, one way or the other. But there's another reward that is coming up there. May we all look and receive that reward. So therefore, be faithful in your service. Be committed to the things of God. Don't look back and don't expect applaud of men. The healing of men. Because you are not working for me, you are working for God. The Lord bless you on the glorious morning shower. I pray that this message today help you get more committed to the things of God in your local church, get more committed in your community, get your get more committed in that your singular vision that God gave you. And I pray that God who sees in secret will reward you openly in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God.